Hi Kids Unlimited team. Thank you so much for watching this video in advance so that we know what we're doing this weekend for curriculum. I have a super exciting curriculum ready for this weekend. It's going to be super awesome. Um, as you guys know, we run through the same uh, structure every weekend on our lesson guide. Um, we're going to be going through worship and offering as well as the introduction and rules. And the large group leader will be orchestrating the minute to win it. And also um, introducing and concluding the uh, curriculum video that we'll be watching for this weekend. So that's the normal structure that we go through every weekend. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know that we are learning more about um, hope and trusting God with a bigger picture, even though we don't see it sometimes and how God can even ex exceed our expectations or what we ask for. And it uses the example of how um, the people who believed in Jesus at the time when he was um, ministering to people, when he was going through his ministry, they just believed that he was going to save Jerusalem. But really, God had a plan the whole time to save everyone for all time. And that's an amazing, awesome blessing um, that only God would have been able to know. So it's really cool. It's a, it's really awesome. I, I think it's going to be super encouraging, not only for the kids, but also for, for you guys. So um, really the key to this video is just to show you what we're going to be doing in small groups, which as I said before, is the most important thing that we can be doing during a service because it allows us to have more relationship with kids, to be able to have the opportunity to pray over them or just talk to them about what's going on at home or what's going on at school. And um, sometimes these things can be seem a little superficial to us or, a, you know, a kid is struggling with um, focusing in school, but school is their life right now. Like that is their, it would be the same thing as you saying, I'm struggling with my job. And so um, having compassion and empathy for the kid and, and showing that to them is also showing them Jesus. So I just wanted to encourage you guys to really value and put value into the small groups that we're going to be doing um, moving forward. So Anyway, so this weekend is going to be really fun. The kids are going to be doing what's called donkey races. And so that's why I'm holding a pool noodle right now. They're going to put the pool noodle between their legs. And they're going to um, have these wonderful cards here. And I have them set in order. So you're going to want to shuffle them before you start the activity. But um, these cards are going to be set across the way. You're going to divide your, your small group into two teams. They're going to challenge each other. And... Um, each of the, all of the cards are going to be away from them. They're going to, you're going to start them off in a line and one kid or two kids racing each other. They're going to run to the cards and they're going to pick up one and they're going to run back to their group and they're going to place the card over there and then they're going to trade the pool noodle with somebody else. And so um, this is a race to put the story cards in order. And so as the kids are racing to get all of the cards, uh, challenge the team to start putting them, for the, those of them that are not running to go grab more cards, um, challenge them to put the story in order. And so um, if you guys do not see these in order or for the second service, these will probably be shuffled. Um, the lesson guide actually tells you the order of it. So you can confirm like when you're checking to see who won the match, um, you can confirm using the, the description it gives you. So that's essentially the, the game, the activity that we're going to be doing in small groups. More importantly than that, I really want you guys to focus more on concluding the game and praying out. And so it talks about how it goes further into um, what it's like to have hope and what it's like to be waiting on a savior and um, just allows us to go a little bit deeper into that story and... Um, it gives you an opportunity to pray. So um, if you guys have any questions about um, what we're doing this weekend for curriculum, um, or if you guys are missing these, these cards um, or pool noodles, you shouldn't be. But um, if you are, please let me know and I can quickly get you some um, from the classroom. So thank you guys so much and I hope you have a great week.